Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you how I graphed garter stitch and here I was working my bobble scarf and I wanted both ends of it to be um, the bobbles to run the same way so I decided to work each piece halfway and then seam the scarf together um, rather than using a three needle bind off I ended up doing uh, I grafted the garter stitch so what you're going to need is just if you want to practice first just grab yourself two pieces of um, a little swatch that you've knit in garter stitch and um, I'll show you how to do that. So I've got two little swatches here um, worked in garter stitch and what you have to do is um, work one extra row on the one piece. doesn't matter which one if you're making the scarf. Um, you would just, the last piece you're working on, you could work an extra an extra row. So when you notice that the bumps are here, the pearl bumps, got one here. So if this is the right side of your work, the pearl bumps are there. This was the wrong side of your work. And you can see there's actually like, the pearl bumps are one away from the needle. So if you flip that over, so you need to have both pearl bumps facing you like this. So one tail end will be at one end of your work, the other one at the other end, and both working yarns are on the right side of your needle. And I usually like to start with the back one. So let's thread that onto a darning needle and get started. So to get started, we're going to do a setup row. So we're going to start with the darning needle attached to the uh, working yarn on the back needle. So you've cut this and left it approximately three feet long or whatever it is, whatever piece you'd be working on. So for the setup row on the front needle, you're gonna insert your darning needle into the first stitch purl wise and leave it on. So we're gonna call that purl on. And then you're gonna insert it, insert your darning needle into the first stitch back needle purl wise as well and leave it on. So now your setup is ready. So you're gonna be working these um, remaining stitches in sets of two as follows. So you're gonna be working the two front stitches and then the two back stitches. So we're going to begin by working the front stitch and you can sort of remember how to do it by just saying, knit is going to be off. Let's not take it off right away. And then the second one will be purl and you leave it on. And now you can slip this stitch off and just tighten that up just a little bit. And you're gonna to try to get the tension the same as what your working piece is. And then on the back piece, on the back needle, you will do the same thing, knit off. Always making sure your yarn goes behind and purl on. And that's what you keep doing right across. So you knit off, purl on, and slip this one off and just adjust the tension. Always making sure that yarn is behind. So that will be a knit off and purl on and slip that off. So you're gonna keep doing this all the way across to the end, and I'll meet you there and show you what to do with the last stitch. And once you get to the last two stitches, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna insert knitwise, purlwise, slip this one off, insert knitwise, purlwise, and slip the first one off. And now when you get to the last two stitches, all that's left to do is slip your darning nail in through knitwise, and then knitwise on the back stitch, and that's it. So now all you have to do is, you're gonna just have to adjust the tension on this loop here, this back loop, just because we stretched it when we'd worked, we'd worked it. And so then you get a nice, look there's going to be no seam showing on your scarf um, and 
that's how you craft garter stitch. Hope that helps.